But we're gonna move on to uh, to the NES now, and I have more NES games. I don't know if we're gonna play all of them. Now this game uh, is taking me back because I actually had this game. I actually have it now. Um, to this day, I still have the cartridge. I got it as a gift from a friend, and uh, I kind of fucking love this game. All right, we got that going. <laughs> yeah, okay, lower this real quick here on our end. So, I loved this fucking game when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, I can guarantee fucking to you now, it is hot trash. Right. Uh, Bigger, better, better. <laughs> so, um, I love this fucking game. And one thing I really love about it a lot, too, is that David Wise did the music for it. Ah. Uh, and I love David Wise's music. And there's a lot of renditions of the wrestler's themes uh, in this game. Excellent. Done in the David Wise style, which is like this very great sound. Uh, so, I actually am super excited to play this game just for that alone. Also, a weird thing of note there that it said that uh, Hulk Hogan uh, was trademark of Marvel. Yeah, oh, wow. Alright, got a million dollar man, very nice. Uh, manager Virgil. Virgil, definitely not his manager. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't know. We'll, we'll say manager. Yeah, because, they'll make it way less fucking offensive. Because yeah, slave wouldn't have really fit <laughs> yeah, so well. Jesus Christ. Bam Bam. Bam, very nice, okay. Honky Tonk Man looking like that fucking... Yeah! Like, he looks like his face is made out of a fader top. Like... <laughs> I'm not putting you over tonight, baby. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I'm, I, I'm Honky Tonk Man. Fuck Honky Tonk Man. Uh, Colonel I, Jimmy Hart, though. I hate the fucking Honky Tonk Man. Yeah, there you go. Uh, by the way, uh, with Macho Man earlier, Macho Man, the, 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 the way you could tell if he was a, a heel or a face yeah. is how much is he using Elizabeth as a Yep. Because if it's if it's not at all, then he's face. Yeah. If it's all the time, then he's heel. <laughs> Andre, Bobby the Brain is manager. Nice. Uh, Hulk Hogan don't need no don't manager. manager. Thunder lips, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and that is all of them. So I'm gonna go. I gotta go with Savage. <laughs> all right. Let's see here. And we're gonna go beat up uh, Honky Tonk because I can't fucking stand him. I say genuine quote from Honky Tonk Man, by the way. I'm what? Like, fuck you. Who are you? I'm Honky Tonk Man. Like that's what he says on the Indies. Man. <laughs> fuck Honky Tonk Man. Like he's man. working like some fucking so much. VA. Oh, look at this. Oh, I like that they made Honky Tonk Man like kind of chubby. Yeah. That's awesome. So this game has no special moves. It is literally just punches and Irish whips. Nice. He's cool. He's cocky. He's bad. So be careful. I don't know what the hell that was. I like that Macho Man still wrestles with his sunglasses on. By the way, he's like. I'm taking these off. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. So, when you get red, you get angry, and you can do oh, you more damage. you get heated, brother? Is that what you you're getting heated, me? brother. <laughs> this is gonna become a shoot? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> oh, kick right in the ass. Oh, they're playing. Holy shit. Yeah, it's Honky Tonk Steam, yeah. Like, David Wise did some good shit. I actually forgot to bring the chat back up. We would like do that. a little chubby. Um... Kill me. Here. Okay, so, um... God, I was, I was never good at this fucking game. Do some research here. Ah, oh, there's, uh, some pomp and circumstance. So you actually explained something to me that I thought was really fascinating, that who was the first person to use a theme song? Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter. He used, uh, like, the, the Marines theme, whatever the fuck that is. And, uh, they've been, that was, uh, they mainly were using it because it was public domain. Right, exactly. So that's why, like, Macho Man and Ric Flair, like, that's why there was that era that everybody just had sort of, like, either classical gotcha. music or, like, some kind of public domain music. Gotcha. Uh, well... You uh, have beaten Steven Randy <laughs> Macho Man Savage. And then playing his theme song, that, that's cool. Alright, we're gonna go back here, because I actually want to hear more of the music. I'm just gonna go to DDD. There you go. <clears throat> uh, let's go with... Oh, dude, yeah. The music in this game is so fucking good. I, I love it. Uh, Alright, let's see here. Okay, so the question is... Yes. Go bam bam. Which was worse... Honky Tonk Man and Greg Valentine, known as Rhythm and Blues. Fuck me running, really. Or Honky Tonk Man and Billy Gunn, known as Rockabilly. Rockabilly. The uh, God. <laughs> oh, that's dreadful. They're both pretty awful. Woof. Alright, we're gonna get a battle of the hosses. 
Bam Bam versus Andre. This is a dream match I've ever seen one. Right. Wow, like, fucking, I forgot how good Bam Bam's, like, outfit was. Like, No, his tights were the shit. And I also love that uh, Andre the Giant's being played by Patrick Starr from SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Whoa, look at them, the yams as he was running there. That was amazing. <laughs> God, I love this game. Oh, that spinning back kick from Bam Bam there. No, Bam Bam was like the quintessential, like larger than life wrestler. Yeah. Mind. Like he had such a distinct look to him. Oh, totally. But he also kind of had a similar um, philosophy, I guess, as uh, the indie wrestler Sid Bodie, who was Kazarni in WWE for ten seconds, and he owns his own wrestling company in Las Vegas now. Yeah. And he's basically like a sideshow freak. Like he's got all these crazy tattoos, and he'll like lay on a bed of nails and stuff like that. Jesus. But we interviewed him. We interviewed him once in the IndyCast, and he said that he had decided when he was really young. Um, I think he had just turned 17 or 18. Yeah. And he got this really fucking obnoxious tattoo right on his neck. <laughs> oh no. Because he was like, "Fuck me, I'm gonna be a wrestler, and this is to make this is my insurance policy that I can't <laughs> puss out and go get a real job." <laughs> and Bam Bam was kind of the same way because he had a crazy fucking tattoo on the top of his head. Gotcha. So it was like he kind of made that commitment of like, "Guess who's not getting a desktop? This guy." <laughs> I'm gonna do one more of these because I love this game too much. Like, I, I granted, I know this game is hot fucking trash, but I just can't get enough of it. And uh, just the fucking music in this game was getting me more than anything. Uh, and there's one, there's one theme song in here. I wanted to pop up if you recognize it because um, it does not. The theme song, none of the wrestlers who use the theme song are actually in this game. Oh, uh, I can't okay. remember whose theme was. So go Hogan. Uh, go beat up Teddy Biasi. Which is enough, Teddy Biasi, another one of those guys that, like, I didn't... Like, when I was a kid, I bought into his character. Yes. So I was like, oh, he's so mean. But, like, watching him now, he was so immensely talented. Like, and yeah. not just of, like, I know how to piss people off. Um... You know, it, it was like him like falling off the top rope and like doing a front flip and shit like that. Like kind of along the same lines as Mr. Perfect. Yeah. Or like, Jesus Christ, the athleticism. They were so talented. This is it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this theme song. Is it recognizable to you? I have no fucking clue. So, uh, this is for Strike Force. Oh, Jesus! With Rick Martel and Tito, uh, uh, Tito Santana. Tito Santana. Oh, Both those wrestlers, not in this game. Yeah, so I have shit. no fucking idea why this goddamn theme song is in this game. I, to, like, it's always my favorite uh, song in the game, too. And then find out, no, none of them are in By the way, none of that shit's around. None of that shit's around. The jumping, like, you have kicky out there. Yeah! I think I don't know if I pin someone. How do I pin? I have no idea how to pin someone. Pin! How, pin! Uh, pin! Alright, let's do this. Pin oh, There we go! I'll just nope, mount just, him. Just <laughs> love him. <laughs> Does he got a rope break? Is that what it is? Like, <laughs> shit. Let's say go with old. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Fucking Hogan. Yeah, I love that Ted DiBiase's overselling for you even in video game <laughs> form. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how do I pin? Oh, headbutt there. Do a little dance. I have right. no idea how to pin! Fuck! This David Wise, help me. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. There you go, Thunder in Paradise 2. 3, <laughs> of course. Oh, uh, Wiggle Left Scales just plays Hulk Hogan. That's Jesus the lesson we've learned. Christ. Alright, well, this game had a sequel. Oh! So we're gonna. <laughs> God, so there's this band uh, named Arm Cannon. Uh, uh, who are this video game theme band, and uh, one of the members is a guy named Danimal Cannon, uh, who I'm going to be doing a show with uh, next weekend at the Geek Easy at 8 o'clock. Good cheap plug there. Go okay. on the Polaris, motherfucker, on the Polaris.com. But Arm Cannon does a mixture of uh, Hulk Hogan theme and Shawn Michaels theme, and it's metal as fuck, dude. Like, it is such a great fucking song. Also, side note. Yeah. I am a real American. Yes. That's just a side note. I'm an American. Uh, <laughs> uh, originally written for um, the tag team Wyndham and uh, Rotundo. Really? And at the last second, they were like, let's put it on this Hulk Hogan guy instead. Oh, my God. What, what would have been the like, other Hulk Hogan theme? Like, Was that the only one they thought of? I'm fucking blind, and I'm going <laughs> to drop a leg drop, motherfucker. <laughs> Vinnie Mac going to give me the belt. <laughs> <laughs> 